Welcome back, everybody. My name is Andrew, and this is Kite Army. I know what you're thinking. Andrew, it was only a matter of time until we saw an e-bike on your channel. And that's right, today is the big day. Now, these things are catching on like wildfire, and there's a really good reason why. Number one, they're fun to ride. Number two, they're cheaper to operate than cars. And number three is... I know, they're fun. Anyway, this is the Himaway Escape, or as Dory would say, the Escape. We're gonna check out this bike today, find out what it's all about, and of course, we're gonna do what you do on an e-bike, and that is have fun. Here we go. All right, guys, so let's move on in and check out the star of the show. Here it is, this is the Himaway Escape Pro. Now, this particular shape or design, which you've probably seen on other manufacturers, is called the moped. Now, the moped style means you're going to have thicker fat tires up front, you're probably going to have some suspension in the front and the back, and you're going to have that really rugged frame, that really rugged look that I wanted in an e-bike. Now, if you're looking for another style, Himaway sells about eight different types of e-bikes. There'll be a link to Himaway right down below. Make sure you check that out. Now, this particular model sells for about $1,800, but it is absolutely worth every cent. So guys, don't you be shy. Come on in and let's check out some of the features of this e-bike. So the first thing I want to talk to you about is the battery that powers this e-bike. You can see it's built right into the frame. It goes from there all the way down to there and I really like the fact it's in the frame because that will protect it while riding. Now this particular battery is a 48 volt 17 0.5 amp hour battery and you can charge it while it's in the bike through this port right here, or if you want to remove the battery, that's no problem either. You just go over here with your set of keys, twist your keys, and the battery drops out. So let me be really clear at this point, because e-bikes are in this really weird spot. People think, well, it's a bike. And that's true, but some of these e-bikes can travel upwards of 25 miles per hour, so you don't want anything janky uh, that you're riding that could like be a problem, a mechanical failure. Now, let me show you some of the features of this e-bike that just give you that confidence that it's a sturdy ride. First off, you have mechanical brakes, so you can stop, you know, really consistently. You also have really large tires here, which I like if you hit a pothole, you'll get a bump, but you're not going over the front end. Now, you do also have a suspension here up front, the fork, and that means it just cleans and makes that ride really smooth. Now, in the back again, you have full suspension in the back here. This smooths out the back. You also have a nice comfortable seat. And lastly, just like in the front, you have a fat tire and a mechanical brake. So let's quickly go over some of the controls of this bike. First off, to power it on, you press and hold this button right here. That will activate the LCD display. Now you can see this will show you how much battery you've got left. This will show you the power level when you're pedaling. To adjust that, you just push the plus button right here. Now the next thing I wanna show you is here's the button to turn on the light. You see if you push that, it'll activate and show you the light. It'll light this up front here and also right there. Also, you've got a tail light back here, which is nice so people can easily see you. Now, if you hit the I button right here, it'll actually scroll through some of the menu at the bottom here. That's max speed, here's average speed, there is trip distance, there's your total odometer distance, and your time you've been riding. So you have that. Now, of course, this right here is your speed you're traveling at, that will change as you move through it. Now, here's your left brake right here. I wanna show you that these handlebar ends are really nice. This is a nice touch that they're stitched leather. Here's a bell up here. On the other side, you have a seven speed shifter here. If you choose to pedal, right there you can do that. There's the shifter in the back and that's all Shimano equipment. And here's your right brake. So all that stuff is good and well, but I think what you really care about are the three Fs. That's how far, how fast, and for how long. So here's the answer to that. This Himaway Escape Pro is powered by a 750 watt brushless motor. Now it's rated range is between 30 and 50 miles and that's it 22 miles per hour. So I'm pleased to report that my experience riding this Himaway Escape Pro was pretty much close to what they advertised it at. I was just using throttle and I was easily able to travel about 20 miles between 22 and 25 miles per hour and I had a little bit of juice left in the battery when I returned home. So I think if you're buying this for a commuter and you're working with about 20 miles, you should never have a problem. Now if you need to go further, of course you can pedal, but it's an e-bike. Who wants to do that? 
Nothing left to do other than hit the open road and do some riding. Here we go. All right, guys, it is time for the wrap-up. So I have to say, overall, I am really impressed with this Himaway Escape Pro e-bike. Uh, the only other experience I have with an e-bike is a mountain bike that I modified into an e-bike, and it felt really rickety once you exceeded about 15 miles per hour. Now, the Himaway does not have that problem. All the way up to 25 miles per hour, I felt really safe and comfortable on this bike. Now, the construction is good. It feels like it's well thought out. I like the fact it's got the comfortable seat and in the back it's got the little storage area I actually bought the basket for up front but I don't have that yet so that will let me put things right in front really great bike I could see if you're doing a commute on this bike it'd be nice if you just want to tool around your city really nice investment all right, guys, so I'd love to hear what you think. What do you think of this e-bike? And do you agree with me about the styling? Is that moped style really as cool as I think it is? Make sure you leave that down below in the comments. Also, while you're here, make sure you subscribe to this channel. And let's go together and check out that video right there. Trust me, you're going to love it.